Who's that? That's when I told you about the orphan of the opera. Okay, ladies, down in front. Down here. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Reese, how nice of you to join us. Now, if you could put out that cigarette and come on down, that'd be very nice. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Gibby. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. You can come a little farther, I promise we won't bite. Thank you, Miss Gibby. <clears throat> well, now that I've got you all here, I want to thank you for volunteering for this project. <laughs> Who volunteered? I was drafted. Well, that uh, may be true, Mr. Marshall, but your coach and I thought that earning a few credits in this class might be better than taking you off the football team. Don't you agree? I mean, besides, you know, your dramatic skills could come in handy if you have to endorse athletic shoes <laughs> <laughs> or breakfast cereal. Anyway, as I was saying, I really want to thank you all for giving up part of your Christmas vacation to help clean up this grand old theater. As you know, it was donated to the city, and we got a grant to reopen it as the new home of our theater department. Yes. Woo! Now, I know a lot of you are anxious to get to your various departments, like wardrobe. Why are you looking at me? Well, because there's about 50 years of old costumes downstairs, and I have a feeling that once you go down there, we're not going to be hearing from you again. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, um, we have to clean up the auditorium first, and that means everybody, Marty. And waste all this talent on menial labor? Come on, it'll be fun. Well, luckily you've got enough time to get started before you go home today. Now, I want every one of you back here at 9 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning. And Ashley, uh, you might want to wear something a little looser. What is it? I just saw a rat. Oh, gross, a rat? Oh my god, where? where? Down there, it ran under the oh, seat. Oh, it near me! Calm down. Oh, maybe we can catch it. Why on earth would you want to do that? So I can feed it to my snake. That's disgusting! You're such a psycho. I'd rather be a psycho than a prom queen. Well, I'd vote for you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is an old building. There are going to be a lot of rats in it. I'm sure over the minute you start tromping around, they're all going to disappear. Jesus Christ. Be careful, be careful. There's glass. Oh. This place isn't safe. Oh, calm down. It was just a loose fixture, that's all. That's right, it was just a freak accident. But you're the only freak around here. Oh, thank you very much. And where are you going? Out of here. You can flank me if you want to. Who the hell are you? God, is everyone all right? We're just a bit shaken up, that's all. I'm Harlan Crothers. I'm the owner of this theater. At least I, I was. Oh, <laughs> good to see you again, Mr. Crothers. Oh. Please, excuse my students. We just had a bit of a scare. Yeah, that antique could have killed one of us. Yes, of course. Very sorry about all this. Not much of a welcome, is it? The whole place seems to be falling apart. Hasn't your family owned this theater for years? Oh, yes. My, my uncle built it around the turn of the century. I grew up loving it. it. Became part of me, part of my soul, in fact. Caruso sang here, you know? McCormick. And some opera singer went wacko and killed his leading lady. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. His name was Lorenzo Orsini. He was a brilliant young tenor with a promise of a remarkable career ahead of him. So what happened? Well, it was many years ago. And it happened right here in this theater. The opera was Pagliacci. Orsini was singing the role of Canio, and quite magnificently. His leading lady was a rising young opera star called uh, Lorraine Sedgwick. She was very beautiful. He was passionate about her, but she would have nothing to do with him. 
However, Orsini persisted. He was obsessed. He wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> and one night, he found her with another man. It broke him completely. So, when the curtain came down on the final performance, he waited in the rain to be alone in her dressing room, still wearing his Pagliacci costume. He burst in and stabbed her to death. Well, the cleaning staff saw him leave the theater covered in blood. Minutes later, the police arrived, but it was too late. He was gone. Did they ever find him? No. So where did he go? Well, it was assumed he fled the country and went back to Europe. So he could still be alive? Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> I doubt it very much. It's so long ago. You know, this is the first theater I ever went to. Why me? I know you'd rather be on a film set, but you are a part of this theater group. Cheryl, I want everyone to stay until six. Nobody, nobody leaves early. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Sure thing, Miss Gibby. Oh, and uh, try not to destroy the building, okay? Oh, don't worry. You can trust us. Oh, yeah, right. Cheers, <laughs> Here's to Walnut for allowing us to make a beer run. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's to Walnut. It was the only way I could get you all to stay. Works for me. Who else? Who else? What about our master of makeup effects over there? Mm. He might win an Oscar someday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the beer. That was so oh, gross. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, guys, where's Kate? I don't know. Somebody explain what we're doing down here. Our new classmate wants to check out the murder site. A real cool Ashley. Well, she does, doesn't she? I want to see it too. <clears throat> Foiled at the threshold. Good. Let's go, because we're not supposed to be here anyway. Oh wait, isn't there a key? Yeah, George has them. But he doesn't seem to be among us. Who needs a key when we've got muscles? <laughs> Okay. Step aside. Step aside. <laughs> um, any more bright ideas? Yeah, um, how about we get into our cars and we drive home? Because it's almost six. Well, I like that idea. How did she? I, I, that door was locked. Maybe you're just a weakling. Mm -hmm. I'm not a weakling. Somebody hit the lights, please. Wow. Okay, now we've all seen it, let's go. I wonder if this stuff is worth anything. You know what? I don't think Miss Gibby would appreciate you just helping yourself. Besides, if any of these things belong to somebody, it's Kate. Oh, yes. Isn't she related to the victim somehow? As if you didn't know. You might try being a little more sensitive. Hey, we've all got problems. Hey, check this out. Yuck. Oh, God. I think I'm going to be sick. Well, not in here, you're not. Come on, Marty. Don't, don't lie there. It's not like it's still fresh. Jesus! Oh. 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 How can it still be wet? I, I've read about this kind of phenomenon, right? There was this house in Wisconsin where these two little kids...